my name is Claudine and I'm here on behalf of the Western Sullivan Public Library. Due to the coronavirus, patrons are not permitted in the library for programs at this time, so we thought we'd go to them. We understand that many of our patrons have been passionately gardening through this pandemic and we're excited to see what they've been up to and share it with the community. In urban New York, they bar hop and in suburban New York, they pool hop. But in rural New York, we're going to garden hop. So let's go. Today, we're on the flats in Narrowsburg at Mission Possible, where Iris and Mary have been gardening in a way that reminds me of this book, Gardening for a Lifetime, How to Garden Wiser as You Grow Older. Hmm, how to garden wiser. Well, we'll show you what they did. So this is our latest. We had a garden here before, but it was all dirt and just screening to prevent the animals from coming in. And we decided that rather than having it ground level um, to make it a little easier on our backs, so we decided to raise it. Oh. And so it is wonderful. So let's. Okay. There are two sons on the other side. When you come down the road, I don't want you to notice them. Small. And you just built this in one season. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys are. You don't fool around. No, no. Oh, my goodness. It's beautiful. Oh, thank you. And delicious, I and have delicious. to say. Delicious. Beautiful so, and delicious. All different kinds of lettuce. There's a romaine. And we use marigolds because marigolds keep the aphids away. Mm -hmm. And so we have them in between. There's going to be a change for next season. And the change is that there's going to be an additional center garden okay. but that you can walk around two feet completely around it so that'll be approximately four feet long and about three feet wide oh. and that's where we're going to put the tomato plants and it's going to be one board lower because now they're towering over oh. and we're going to have a bounty of tomatoes oh. and so of course to coordinate the gray and the yellow yellow tomato pages. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. And we have that, those are our string beans. Uh -huh. And in the corners we have cucumbers and then we're doing beets and um, all the lettuce. Uh, and your herbs and are currently in the herbs middle. are here and dill is there. So what we'll do is, because the tomatoes have just exploded, and so we will, like I said, one board lower. Mm -hmm. Everything in here is natural, where the garden is. And if you see, here is where the garden starts. Okay. So it's only two boards high and they're all hem it's all hemlock. Oh, yeah. And even the stain is, um, all natural and it is and the stain is from whey mm -hmm. so it's all organic mm -hmm. and so below it is pressure treated wood and on the bottom underneath it all is these stones mm -hmm. oh and you know what that means Aww. that means I would like a little bit of catnip so in the garden we have to have can I baby so girl? the cat has its own plant too. Yes, of course. <laughs> so what did you fill the two sections with? I mean did you lay in? So underneath this is hemlock right. horizontal to give it base. Okay. And then on top of that is screening just in case um because there's holes in it for yeah. uh, no for um drainage, drainage thank okay. you 
and so there's considerable but we did not want any of the little critters mm -hmm. coming up into it so there's um, screening mm -hmm. and then there is um, newspaper and um, things that are you know sticks and things that decompose to kind of give it some richness and then above that we have really very good soil mm -hmm. specifically for vegetables and plants and basically that's it and then underneath it this is all hollow and these are two boards down mm -hmm. and so that's like the base of it mm -hmm. but it never touches anything that was pressure treated so that everything in here is no chemicals exactly and what is the size of this square obviously um it is i think it's 12 by 10. larger marble chips. And do you have um, landscaping fabric underneath them? Oh, the landscaping fabric is underneath here, uh -huh. but not under here. There's another layer of stone, thick stone, so that's also for drainage. Mm -hmm. But under here, right, and there is, you can see some of the screening that goes six inches down mm -hmm. underground, mm -hmm. up below ground level, to prevent anyone, because we have bowls and Critters. woodchucks, and mm -hmm. so they have not contributed to any of the developments and cost their love, so it's not like they're... I just love it, I love it, and all of it. Uh, mm. And I have to tell you, eating your own fresh grown lettuce. It's just, it's different than regular lettuce. It has flavor to it, and it 